just like how a systems administrator was back in, you know, let's say 20 years ago. I mean, half of them were called web webmasters. Do you remember that? A webmaster, you know, whatever that was. First time I saw what the term webmaster years ago, I thought, wow, somebody's playing too much Dungeons and Dragons, which was probably the case. That has, you know, massively changed. So I think a lot, of, I'll bet you the name might stay around, might. Uh, I, I think it'll probably stay around. It's just that now that that administrator is not going to be locally administering systems back in the server room. She's going to be administering systems, some of them back in the server room possibly, uh, and then a lot of them up in the cloud. So uh, if you aren't moving to the cloud, then I'll bet you five bucks you'll be a dying breed, uh, very much so. But I think if you, uh, there are some things that I think uh, for either cost or just cause, uh, just because what your business does, that will stay hanging around. I've noticed this uh, on a large scale in the Department of Defense in the United States. Uh, there are still a lot of installed stuff and thinking going on, but there's also uh, a, a real movement to the cloud. And, uh, but there's very much thinking, not just at the DOD, but with banks, I've been talking with a lot of CISOs of banks, and there are elements of installed that will be hanging around. And what you need is you have to be able to connect those two elements, installed or traditional, and cloud together in the proper way. And if you don't, you're going to create a serious set of problems as those two things connect. And if they're not connected properly with good encryption, with good authentication, with good access control. And by access control, I'm talking about things like uh, creating landing zones and, and other elements. I think you, uh, you're really better off to learn, to keep learning both, but uh, don't discount the cloud. <laughs>